Hello humans, it's me again, finally. And now I have part 25 of The Legend of Zelda Vati's Return. If you have not seen the other parts yet, you need to go back and see those ones before you watch this one. Because it's not going to make any sense. We're still inside the power trail and we're still going to be there for a little while. But I promise you I'm almost done writing it. So soon we'll be out of that. Anyways, let's begin. Upon going up the stairs to floor 21, Masaru and Midna find themselves in a shadowy room with 50 large hands crawling across it. Disembodied hands! Masaru yells. Yeah, those are similar to the wall master you met in the forest temple. These are floor masters. They try to squeeze you to death, and if you slice them, they break into three parts. If you do not destroy all three parts, they reform into another big floor master. You have to be quick and careful, Minda says. Okay, got it, Masaru says. He stands with his sword out, staring at the ugly, disembodied hands for a while, before performing his largest spin attack yet. Masaru goes twirling across the room, the entire room, hitting all the floor masters that get too close. After five trips around the room, Masaru finally finishes spinning. However, there is one little piece of floor master left. It gets up and forms into a big floor master. Masaru, you missed one! Midnight cries out. I'm dizzy, Masaru says. While he's still trying to settle himself, the floor master grabs him. He squirms to get free. When he finally manages to break free, he slashes the floor master and it breaks into three parts again. Masaru hits all three and they die. 1,000 rupees are dropped. Now Masaru has 7,484 rupees. Yay! That's a lot of rupees, Masaru says. I agree, Midna says. The next staircase appears and Midna and Masaru head up to floor 22. Floor 22 is icy and filled with snow. Masaru quickly switches to his blue tunic since he's, he was still wearing his fire tunic. Cold! My ears are going to freeze! Masaru complains. Watch out! Minda says. A snowball comes flying and hits Masaru in the face. Ah! Super cold! Who did that? Masaru asks. That came from an enemy known as an Eno. Midna says, they are snow monsters who like to freeze their prey by tossing snowballs at them. Prey? Masaru asks. Yes, they eat Hylians. You'd be a decent appetizer for them, Midna says. No, 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 I don't want to be eaten, Masaru says. Take out your fire rod and stop them, Midna says. Masaru takes out his fire rod and starts burning all the Enos when he spots them in the snow. I won't let you eat me! I taste horrible! Masaru yells. <laughs> you know, when people say they taste horrible, they usually taste super good. Minda says, uh, I taste super good! Masaru yells. The Enos approach faster and he takes them all out with a blast from his fire rod. He is rewarded 50 more rupees, so now he has 7,534 rupees. The next staircase appears and they go up them to floor 23. Floor 23 is burning hot! Ugh, Midna, I think I'm going to be sick. I can't handle this rapid change in temperature, Sarah Wells. Get used to it, kid, Midna says. Masaru switches to his fire tunic. Fifty tall creatures that look like flaming spears stacked on top of each other burst out of the ground and start jumping around. Masaru, these are fire pokies. They shoot fire at intruders, and if you hit them, a section will fly off and hit you, Minda says. The best way to beat them is to just to use your sword. All fifty fire pokies shoot fireballs at Masaru at the same time. Ah! Masaru screams. Masaru ducks and avoids the fireballs before jumping up and slashing the fire pokies. Their flaming body segments try to hit him as they fly away. 
Midna continues to cheer him on as he fights every last fire pokey. Eventually, he is rewarded 50 more rupees, so now he has 7,584 rupees. Well, what's next? Ice again? Mr. Roo asks. You will never know until we reach it, Minda says and runs ahead of Masaru up a new flight of stairs. Masaru follows and they reach floor 24. Floor 24 is yet another dark room. Masaru doesn't say a word. He just pulls out his fire rod and makes himself a bit of light. A ghost screams in fear when he makes light in the room. Ah, a ghost, Masaru says. Those are jinnies. They are afraid of light. Chase them with your light and they, and when they freeze up, slash them before they get away, Linda says. Masaru chases the jinnies around in the dark with his fire rod and they freeze up. He slashes at them and they wail and disintegrate. These ghosts are no match for my fire rod, Masaru says. Jennies, Midna says. Same thing, Masaru says. No, not all ghosts are Jennies, Midna uh, argues. Whatever you say, Masaru says. Masaru is rewarded 50 more rupees, so now he has 7,634 rupees. Woohoo! That was fun, Masaru says. Your hair is sticking up. You may want to fix your ponytail. Why do you have a ponytail? Midna asks. Ponytails are fashionable. In my opinion, at least, Masaru says, grinning. On females, but you're a little boy, Midna says. Yeah, I am a boy. I'm a young man. And I can wear a ponytail if I want to, Masaru says. The next staircase drops down with a thunk. Onwards, Masaru says. He charges up the stairs, followed by Midna. They reach floor 25 and find it to be a maze. There are 50 strange dark creatures hovering around. What are they? Masaru asks. Oh, I don't mean to alarm you, but those are rupee rice, Midna says. What? Does that mean they'll give me lots of rupees? Masaru asks. No, not at all, Masaru. The opposite. They will take lots of your rupees, Midna says. Oh, come on, I worked so hard for these rupees, Masaru yells. Sorry, look, the only way to get past this is to hit all ten buttons. Hidden in the maze, Midna says. Oh, shoot, Masaru says. Hurry up, Midna says. Masaru runs into the maze and starts searching for the buttons. The rupee rice are alerted of his presence and start swarming to him. He hits one button before they all start attacking. Ah, leave me alone, Masaru wails. He can sense that they are taking his rupees one by one. He runs past them, further into the maze, finding the other buttons. However, halfway through the maze, they are still in rupees by the tens, and then by the hundreds. They are ruthless and aren't going to stop until they take every single rupee from him. Finally, Masaru finds the last button. When he presses it, the rupee rice all die. He only has 1,527 rupees left, however. A heart container appears in front of Masaru. A heart! Now I have 12 hearts, Masaru says. Yay! You've gained so many hearts since I first met you, Midna says. And that's the end of part 25. I hope you enjoyed that. I'm working on trying to change Masaru's voice because his voice was too deep in most of the videos. He's supposed to be a 7 year old boy. 7 year old boys shouldn't have that deep of a voice. Usually. I want him to have more of a lighter voice. Anyways, I'm going to have more parts eventually, but they'll, it'll take me a while to get to those ones. Because I still have school and all. But anyways, if you did enjoy this, please give me a thumbs up. And...
and remember to subscribe to the channel. Bye!